Uh, I'm Dennis Howard with the track. So we're here on the job site today with Ryan Ziegler, I-94, this concrete job that we're looking at. You're the traveling concrete superintendent, is that right? Yep. Yeah, but what does that mean? I'm in charge of our grading and paving crew for this project and other highway projects we get where we run our own batch plants and stuff. So, you know, we work typically North Dakota, but we're never in one spot too long, I guess. So we're happened to be in Fargo this year. Two years ago, we were in Williston for a stint. So traveling crew, I guess we go wherever the work is for Northern Improvement. So if I'm driving around North Dakota and see a job site, I'd look at this. If you, if you see a shamrock and it's out in the middle of nowhere, we might be standing there. Yeah, it's, it, yeah I might be there. Tell us a little bit about this job. On this project, we're uh, mixing, hauling, and placing 37,000 cubic yards of concrete in two separate phases. It's about 18,500 each phase. We, know, we completed the westbound construction that we're standing on right now. And hopefully in a two and a half to three weeks, we can start paving on the eastbound portion of this project. So when this is done and I'm driving down the interstate, how many miles am I gonna drive over what you've done here? It'll be about three miles of main line and then with the on-ramps and there's acceleration lanes and tie-ins to the West End of Main Avenue here, comes out to about 140,000 square yards of concrete total. So when you're doing a project like this, what's important to you? Having the right people for the job and having the right equipment for the job, I guess, so we can be competitive and efficient. That's the biggest thing. I keep on it, they just spread it from us. Yeah. Uh, what's important to you when, when you get something like that? The customer service end of it. The training, I mean, working was, they sent out a team of people and it was phenomenal. They didn't just drop off a machine, I guess, and then walk away. They followed through to make sure that we knew how to set it up, we knew how to run it. They're still checking in to make, see how the machine's doing. The customer service part of it, you can't replace that. They've been phenomenal, RDO and working. You know, we get a lot of new iron with Northern, we're fortunate. And typically when you get a new PC equipment, you know, you hear all the, all the pros and no one tells you cons and there's always, you, sometimes you feel like it was oversold and that's one thing I will say about the working spreader. The machine spoke for itself. It actually outperformed anything anyone ever promised me. I'd say we cut our dump times down to about 50%. It's as fast as you can get a truck box up, it'll dump it, it'll spread it. So it's really increased the dump speed, which has increased the paving speed also. Which all gets back to efficiency and being able to... Right. You're short, we're in North Dakota, your paving season's short. You gotta be performing when you have it. Right, and then we're running it off the GPS system for our automated controls. So, you know, I feel we're putting a lot more consistent head pressure on our paver by having a better control of our spreader. I want to be able to drive away from this road. People look at it and say, wow, who built that? We want to take pride in our work. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I guess I got to, I'm going to do one shout out here though, because we're on a closed section of highway. These guys do a lot of work on open section of highway. So slow down a little bit. Give them, give them some, give them some love. All right. Thank you, Brad. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, I'm Dennis Howard. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe and follow us on social media. See you soon.